guys, welcome back to uh, Mike's Koi Pod and Garden. Um, you can call me uh, Dracula, uh, the toothless wonder. Uh, I like to take fancy, but I prefer mine. So uh, I've had a few jobs done again this morning before it gets too hot. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I've done. So this screen here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big uh, red uh, Japanese sun on it and I'm going to put it behind that Buddha there uh, and I think that should look pretty good and uh, I've got to do these sides as well but I'll have to cut the other one down to make it fit in the, in the gaps so that's my job for today Okie dokie guys so I uh, got one of the screens back up so I put a Japanese sun behind it and just at the bottom on each side I put um, a bonsai uh, tree on each side of the Buddha so that's the middle part that's done now just got to sort the sides out so I don't know what I'm going to do with them I think the front looks uh, looks pretty good uh, the missus said she wanted me to uh, put a light there to illuminate it of a, of a night time but there's no way I could uh, put a light there's no way for me to uh, fix a light and obviously you have to be chasing the Buddha but uh, yeah I think it looks uh, hell of a lot better than what it did so the paint that I use for that is uh, cardinal red, slightly different to this red, I think this is pillar box red this, uh, that's cardinal red. So yeah that, that's that bit done, so let's try and work out what I can do with these sides now. Okay guys so I've done uh, a couple of panels, um, I don't know how well you can see them. So they've got the meshing on, same as over there, and I've added a bit of red, so they should have uh, just a red perspex panel, and uh, hopefully I've measured them the right size, so they should fit up there, and up there, so I'm just going to let them dry, which won't be very long in this heat, and then I'll attempt to put them up, yeah. So that's just using the, the panel that was left and um, made do with what I had. And then made do with what I had and then just did what I could with them. So yeah, I was going to put um, white in them, but I thought I may as well just use the mesh. Uh, and it keeps in with the ties in with that, the door, and that. Well, obviously, I've took two of the perspex panels out of it, so I need to that to my right. Yeah, so let them, let them dry and then I'll put them in place. Okie dokie, so the panels fit. So, there you go. Panels done. I know they're not as wide as the actual gap, but just to give it a bit of colour, and I think it looks alright. Yeah, looks alright. Looks better when that, um, mind your own business, is uh, matured and filled out that box. Jobs are good and as Andy would say. Okay guys, so that's now done. Uh, so all I've got to do now is uh, paint the capping on the pond. Uh, it hasn't been done since I did it the first time round, so I'll crack on with that. And uh, we'll have a look. So 
Slate grey again. So that's that side done. So what I'll do is I'll crack on with the rest of it and then I'll uh, show you the end result. Okay guys, so I've done all the capping on the pond now. Uh, done where I could where where I could. Uh, couldn't get to this bit here because of obvious reasons, can't reach it. And so yeah, I've done all that. I've done the the posts as well. They've all been done, uh, and uh, if you notice the uh, the panels that I did, uh, the sun shining through, so it looks like stained glass panels, which is a cool effect. And um, so what else have I done? I did the the gaps where the wood has swollen, and it show it's been it was showing the unstained wood. So all that's been done as well. Restained the the window frame and that window frame uh, so that's it that's so all my job's done uh, bef uh, before it gets too uh, hot so, so there you go and uh, that's what the, the pond looks like now so I'm going to give it a thumbs up Okay guys, so it's uh, 2 in the afternoon now and it's absolutely ridiculous, so uh, I'm going to go in here and um, we'll see how warm the pond is. So I'll just put this thing around. So really, I shouldn't need to go in here because it is ridiculously warm in here. Oh wow, I'm very warm. So, let's have a quick look. 18.1 degrees ridiculous so um, I've not done any uh, I'm not doing any filter cleaning until it cools down so uh, yeah because you, you can't stay in here too long I'm sweating to death now uh, not happening on the uh, YouTube TV but there is a guy called Dave Pendle he's a new uh, channel so uh, go and check him out guys uh, yeah, right, that's me done I think. Okie dokie guys, so uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And it just goes to show what you can do with a bit of wood, um, a lick of paint and some perspex. Uh, it's totally transformed my pond. Uh, so if you like it, have a go yourself. And uh, 
I'm going to sign off now, so um, take care, I'm going to see you all very soon, so cheers.